There's now so many people who are hand knitting, weaving, felting, and now machine knitting. Who knew? Caroline Munro is not only the curator for the works at the textile show at the Maple Grove Art Center, she's also an exhibitor. The things I do are machine knitted and then I finish them with hand crochet. It's made of um, silk and wool and cotton and this is all woven. She exhibits both wearable textiles as well as an example of quilting. We have a lot of beautiful quilts, lots of vibrant color. Speaking of quilts, there are some amazing pieces. This lady, she does all the machine quilting herself. If you tried to get someone to do it for you, it wouldn't happen, it would cost thousands because there's so much detail in it and that's all done on a long arm quilter. Batik is an ancient art of designing patterns on fabric by applying wax before the dyeing process to resist the dye on those areas of the fabric. This very colorful piece skillfully integrates batik fabric with acrylic on canvas. He's used the batik fabric and he's I've cut those pieces out. I think he stuck them down onto the canvas and then he adds the acrylic afterwards. Other examples of textile art forms which are thousands of years old are tapestry and wool felting. And they just keep kneading it and kneading it and what happens is the fibers bond together and that makes this fabric. Caroline encourages young people to explore textiles as a hobby. If you're interested in learning more about any of the textile disciplines, someone at the Art Center can put you in touch with a mentor in that field. Neil Persley, 12 News.